But of, 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 of King James only-ism, they call it, of people that are only King James only, there's a spectrum of, of people that are King James only. Because it's not just if you're King James only, there's just one position. And the positions that I'm aware of, if you start on the very liberal side and, 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 and not, not true in my opinion, you would start on one side. I don't know if I should do left or right. Maybe left, right? Because right should be the right position. But on one extreme, you've got people that believe, you know, well, the King James Bible is just one of many good translations in English. It's just, it's the same. It doesn't matter which translation you use. And the reason why they're King James only is maybe tradition or preference. You know, that was the Bible that they grew up with. That was the Bible that their parents used, that passed, passed on to them. Maybe they're just so comfortable using it that they're used to the language. Uh, and that's why they use the King James Bible. That's why they're King James only. So somebody that just thinks it's just one of the many translations. Then you've got the people that think, well, the King James Bible is the most faithful translation, but it's not perfect. It is inferior to what they call the original scriptures or the original handwritten manuscripts. Uh, and that's, that's the position of a lot of independent churches, um, to be honest. To, they, they, they get up and they say, you know, the Bible is the inerrant, infallible Word of God. And they're holding a King James Bible in their hand. And they say, you know, this is the infallible, inspired, inerrant Word of God. And, and, and that's what they say to you. But then when you ask them, do they actually believe that the book they're holding in their hand is the infallible, inerrant Word of God? They say, no, it's just the most faithful translation. You know, but, you know, for some reason they think it's all right to say that. It's all right to, to lie and, and, and not state their true position. Maybe because it sounds good, right? Because it looks good when you hold up the book that you're preaching from, that you're, you're saying is the Word of God, and you know, it, it's consistent with what you're teaching. But when you actually pin them down on it, they have that second position of, it's the most faithful translation, but if you want the real meaning, you've got to go back to the originals, you've got to go back to the original languages, and it's inferior to the original uh, writings. And then you have uh, the... Uh, another position so you've got it's just one of many translations then you've got you know it's the most faithful translations but inferior to the original languages and then you have that it's a that it's an accurate translation and it is equal to the originals now this is this is my position my position is is that it is an accurate 100 percent accurate translation into english and it is not inferior or superior to the originals, it is identical. So it doesn't matter whether you have it in English, you have it in Greek, you have it in Spanish, you have it in German. If they are all saying the same thing, then they're all equivalent. One is not better than the other. Uh, and, and you know, I don't believe it. that's the only way it could be written. You know, the, the, the English Bible can be written in a more modern English, but I'm not gonna go into that today of, of why I think the King James Bible, uh, why I use the King James Bible. Um, but, you know, when you have the position of it's accurate and it's equal to the originals, you, you don't need to go to another language. Um, so you can stay in the language that's your primary, primary tongue. Um, but also, it's equally, it means it's equally authoritative. Uh, you know, if, if something is said in the, in the English Bible, it's as authoritative as something in another Bible of a different language because it should say the same thing, right? But the main question, the main objection you really need to overcome if you take the position that it's equal and or equally authoritative and not inferior or superior, it is equal to the originals, you sort of have to address the question, well, can a translation be perfect? Can a translation indeed be identical to the original? Because people have this frame of mind that a translation cannot be perfect. And that's what I'm going to talk about today. And the last position, which is I think the extreme on the other side, is that the King James Bible is an accurate translation, but it's superior to the originals. And people uh, that you may have heard of, you know, Peter Ruckman, Sam Gipp, take this point of view that the King James is like a re almost like a re-inspiration of Scripture. I don't know if that's how they would describe it, but it's almost like the King James came along and that is the new, I guess, takes the place of the original manuscripts that everybody should be going to. So they think... You know, it was Hebrew in the Old Testament because that's the language that God's people spoke. And then it was Greek in the New Testament because that's the language that God's people spoke. And now everyone speaks English and, and God has raised up the King James Bible to be that standard. To the point where they believe if you truly want God's word, you have to learn English. So some people believe that where, where, the, Old Test, where the, uh, the original scriptures were, are the only ones that we should go to. They think you need to learn Greek and Hebrew. 
Whereas people on this last extreme, they believe that you have to even to the point, you have to learn English to get the real uh, Word of God. And they believe it cannot be written in another way. So, you know, whosoever believeth must be whosoever believeth. It can't be anyone that believes, even though that's the exact same English words in a more modern English, uh, which is what my position would be. So that's the spectrum of KJV only, and I would put myself in the camp of it's accurate and it is identical to the originals. 